Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to examine x cube y square into 12 minus x minus y for extreme values. So the given function is f of x comma y, which is x cube into y square into 12 minus x minus y. Let's expand this. So f of x comma y is nothing but 12 x cube y square minus x power 4 y square then minus x cube y cube. It's the first step we have to find partial differentiation of this function with respect to x. So here 12 y square is constant. x cube differentiation is 3 x square minus y square is constant. x power 4 differentiation is 4 x cube. In the same way y cube is constant and x cube differentiation is 3x square. Now, let's rearrange this. This is 36x square y square minus 4x cube y square minus 3x square y cube. So we got fx. In the same way, let's find what is fy. So this 12x cube is constant then differentiation of y square is 2y. Now we are doing partial differentiation with respect to y. So x is constant. Now minus x power 4, y square is 2y minus x cube which is constant into 3y square. Now again rearranging this, it will be 24x cube y minus 2x power 4y minus 3x cube y square. So we got fy also. Now we have to take fx equal to 0 and fy equal to 0. When fx is equal to 0, when we are equating to 0, before that I will take all the common terms. So totally here there is no common terms in the number because 36, 4 and 3. So we cannot take any number common. But we can take x square common and y square common. When these two terms are out, first term is 36, next term is 4x, next term is 3y equal to 0. And similarly, from here, the common terms, again we cannot take any numbers common, but we can take x cube and y common. So this will become 24 minus 2x minus 3 and y because y square is there we have taken y common now equating this to 0 now we have to equate individual factors to 0 so when x square is 0 x is 0 and y square is 0 y is 0 and other factor if we equate to 0 we get 4x plus 3y these two negative terms I take to the other side is equal to 36 this will keep it as a first equation then from here x is 0 and y is 0 and these two negative terms if I take to the other side we get 2x plus 3y equal to 24. Let's take this as the second equation. Now we have to get the stationary values and when x is 0 y is also 0 so we get one set of points that is 0 comma 0 even on the other side we have 0 comma 0. We are going to solve this equation. First equation and second equation we subtract. So 4x plus 3y equal to 36. 2x plus 3y equal to 24. So this is minus, minus and minus. When we subtract, we have to change the sign of all the second terms. 3y minus 3y you can cancel. Then 4x minus 2x will give 2x equal to out of subtraction we get 12 from this x value is 6 we can substitute this in the first equation or second equation let's take the first equation so 4 into 6 plus 3 into y equal to 36 so this is 24 and 24 plus 3y equal to 36 so 3y equal to 36 minus 24 which is 12 
So 3y equal to 12 and y is equal to 12 by 3 which is 4. So the another point is 6 comma 4. We got two points. Now I have to find f x x, f x y and f y y. So before that we have to take this f of x and f of y once again. So let's copy this function here. Then we will find f x x. So first one f x x. So partial differentiation of this f x with respect to x. So it means 36 and y square will be as it is and x square is 2x minus 4 x cube is 3x square and y square is constant as it is minus 3 into x square is 2x and y cube will be as it is and let's rearrange and this is our a which is 72xy square minus 12x square y square minus 6xy cube. Now let's find fxy. This is partial differentiation of fy with respect to x. So with respect to x, so 24 into x cube is 3x square into y minus 2 into x power 4 differentiation is 4x cube and constant y as it is minus 3 into x cube differentiation is 3x square and constant y square as it is. So this is our b which is 72x square y minus 8x cube y minus 9x square y square. Now we have to find f y y which is the partial differentiation of f y with respect to f again. So constant 24 x cube will be as it is, f differentiation is 1. Similarly, second term also 2 x power 4 will come as it is, y differentiation is 1. Then we have 3 x cube into y square. So 3 x cube is constant. So let's write minus 3 x cube into 2 y. Now, rearranging this, we get 24 x cube minus 2 x power 4 minus 6 x cube y. So this we will take it as c. So we got a, b and c expression. Now we have to make a tabular column where in the first column we have the set of points. The points which we got, two points we got as a stationary points. Let's write points 1 is 0, 0 and another is 6, 4. So here 0, 0 then 6, 4. Now we have to write A then B then C then AC minus B square condition then conclusion based on the sign of A and AC minus B square. So we have to work out separately for both the points. Now 0, 0. So if I substitute x as 0 and y as 0 in A, this A has all x and y terms. So completely this will become 0. Then B and C also same. This is 0 and this is 0 and even this is 0. So when this condition becomes 0, and it is, we have to say, the case is doubtful and we have to say further investigation needed. Now coming to the next point 6, 4. When we substitute here, we have to calculate fully. So let's work out separately here 6, 4 for the point for x and y in A. So this will become 72 into 6 into 4 square, 16 minus 12 into 36 into 16 minus 6 into and again 6 into y cube which is 4 cube 64. Now we have to calculate this. The first value is 6, 9, 1, 2 minus again 6, 9, 1, 2 then last term minus 
2, 3, 0, 4. You can cancel this. So we left with only minus 2, 3, 0, 4. So we got A value which is minus 2, 3, 0, 4 and this is less than 0. Now we have to calculate for B and C also. Let's complete B first, the 0.6,4. So this is going to be 72 into 36 into 4 minus 8 into 6 cube, 216 into 4 minus 9 into 36 into 4 square, 16. First term is 1, 0, 3, 6, 8 minus 6, 9, 1, 2 minus 5, 1, 8, 4. And totally this will give 1, 7, 2, 8. So here it is 1, 7, 2, 8. Similarly, we have to substitute in C. Now let's substitute the value for X and Y. This is 24 into 6 cube is 216 minus 2 into 6 power 4, 1296 minus 6 into 216 into 4. So the first value is 5184 minus 2592 minus 5184. So we can cancel these two and finally we have a negative number which is minus 2592. Minus 2592, let's enter in the table. That is minus 2592. Now A into C, we have to multiply these two. It will become positive, then minus B square. That is 2304 into 2592. It will become positive, then minus B square, 1728 whole square. So when I multiply the first two numbers, I will get a huge number 5971968 minus square of this. That gives 29859984. After subtraction, we get 29859984, which is greater than 0. When this is greater than 0 and A is less than 0, it is maximum. So this point is maximum point. To find the maximum value, we have to substitute 6, 4 in our original function. So now maximum value f of 6, 4. Our function, original function is x cube y square. So 6 cube 4 square minus, sorry, into 12 minus x minus y. So minus 6 minus 4. So totally this is 216. This is 16 and this is totally 2. After multiplying we get 6912.